So let's continue with the rest part of it. In, the, in this sheet, you can see the temperature transmitter and pressure transmitter as well. Uh, I'm totally sure you know about the performance and function of all these things because I've already taught uh, them for you in uh, related parts. So uh, this temperature transmitter, uh, which was installed on the thermal wheel, uh, has the responsibility for uh, you know, measuring the temperature and finally send it to the control room via a signal 4 to 20 milliampere. And moreover, this pressure transmitter, as you can see, was installed on the manifold and actually you know, was fastened uh, with the help of a U-bolt and bracket on this uke. And this one has this responsibility to uh, measure the pressure and finally send it to the control room again via, uh, you know, electrical signal. I mean, 4 to 20 milliampere. Now I want to show you how you can illustrate these two items in the sheet of the PNID. So let's uh, come with me and go to another uh, sheet. So here you can see actually the pressure transmitter here and the temperature transmitter too. There are actually some other uh, devices in this sheet too. Don't worry, I will just teach you step by step and gradually. Please just focus on PT and TT. So, as you can see here, there is an electrical signal which sends to uh, actually control room and you know that, uh, you know, designing and monitoring things and supervision items in PNID uh, should be done uh, with the help of a rectangular and you know circle. It was a th symbol that I myself uh, taught uh, for you the time that I was writing something on the whiteboard. So it's totally clear that this line is related to the electrical signal and finally this one will be received, uh, I mean the data of the pressure transmitter will be received in control room and finally our operators will be able to see that and monitor it on uh, PC, I mean the computer. So let's back uh, to the previous thing, again, in this sheet, you are able to see two other transmitters which are related to the level, level transmitter and another one is related to the DP type transmitter. As you know that DP type transmitters are widely used the time that you want to measure flow or level or even pressure itself. So in this PNID sheet, I want to show you how you can illustrate these uh, two items as well. So let's continue again back to the previous item. You can just see a fellow element here and you know that this one is the uh, you know, uh, form or shape of a uh, flow element of orifice plate and this one is DP type transmitter and finally the uh, signal uh, will be sent to the control room as well. And here you can find a level transmitter too with the help of, you know, side-side connection. We just, uh, you know, showed that uh, it was, you know, installed or it's uh, being installed on the drum as well. Finally, the related data of this one uh, is going to be sent to the control room. It's clear here as well. So this is the thing that I myself, uh, you know, said that a lot. In our control room, we have a monitoring system. Uh, for example, it's the kind of integration of a PLC or DCS and computer. As you know that the DCS or PLC have the responsibility to collect and gather and actually, you know, uh, play the role of acquisition of the, all the data from the site. And after that, with the help of an industrial network such as uh, industrial Ethernet, Profibus, and those types of things, we can transfer all these data to uh, a computer, I mean a PC. So, um, here you can find a PC uh, in which you can find all the data related to the different types of cases. Actually, you know, this monitoring uh, system uh, was related to the project that I myself uh, was working there. Uh, it was related for actually you know, a gas turbine project. Project. That's why you can just see a gas turbine here. And let me just you know zoom it a little bit more. You can see, for example, the uh, different uh, temperature and you know pressure of the devices from everywhere. For example, uh, let me just uh, show you something about. Um, for example, here is the, the PDT actually for uh, this case. It's a uh, differential pressure of this one is just 0.1 bar. About the temperature, you can find that in LPT of the gas turbine, we have the uh, 
actually, you know, uh, degree of centigrade around 367. And about the other things, for example, about the uh, pressure of uh, the part, which is close to uh, actually, you know, nozzles, with vein nozzles of ignition, you can find the uh, pressure as well and more things that you can find on this uh, monitoring system too. This is another project that uh, I was working there for around one year and a half. Again, you can see uh, the monitoring system of the device too. For example, this is the, uh, you know, computer and uh, the monitor of computer actually. And you can see a vessel, it's a three phase separator. And you can see, for example, the temperature around 37 degrees centigrade, for example, for all, uh, for example, for case of, you know, uh, vent line of the separator, the temperature is 29 and other things such as uh, the data related for flow and some other things. So these are actually just some samples for you to just uh, clarify the uh, computers and monitoring things and so forth.